Austin Company, pioneer designers and builders of television stations, takes you behind the scenes in this series of telecasts to see how television ticks. Haven't you wondered sometimes how television takes your eyes and ears to distant points? Wondered how pictures are sent through the air? Well, the Austin Company invites you to come in and see. Here in the television studio, drama, variety shows, musicals, public forums begin their split-second trip to your receiver. And from the television station on wheels, and from motion picture film, come other entertaining and instructive programs. All pass through the station's control room, the traffic tower of television, where a final check is made on each program before it is sent from the station. Electric impulses carrying the picture and sound from the station to the transmitter may go by radio relay, or the two may be connected by cable. The transmitter may be in a building such as this on a high point of ground, or it may operate high in a skyscraper, often far removed from the studio. The engineers operate the delicate transmitting equipment, which increases picture and sound signals from the station and broadcasts them over the countryside. The excitement of the transmitter is not the glamour of lights, camera action of the studio stage. It grows from a scientific and engineering know-how that sends from the towering antenna pictures and sound instantly into your home. The short waves of television are similar to light waves in that they travel in straight lines and normally will not bend around obstacles such as mountains or tall buildings. The effect is the same as if a powerful aviation beacon were mounted on the antenna tower. Differing from ordinary radio broadcasting in which programs go out thousands of miles following the curvature of the earth, television continues out from the tower until it passes the horizon on out into space. Considering curvature of the Earth, the short waves from a 500-foot antenna could be picked up clearly as far as 30 to 35 miles, but a program sent from a 1,000-foot antenna would be received 45 to 50 miles away. To overcome this limitation, thousands of miles of coaxial cable are now being used to carry television programs. This highly complicated cable is made up of intricate hollow metal conductors. Radio directional relay towers installed on high ground at 30 to 40 mile intervals between television stations also are used to carry television programs over long distances. Special motion pictures are sent from station to station for local televising. This permits reception of identical programs in widely separated areas in the same way radio transcriptions are heard. Intercity transmission of television is an everyday occurrence in some areas of the United States. And it's expected that coast-to-coast -coast television eventually will be as simple as turning the control knobs on your receiver. A network of cables and radio relays would blanket the country so that a family in Cleveland could see a parade and hear the brass band broadcast from Washington, D.C., and a family in Washington could see a Navy football game broadcast from Cleveland. And here's where the vast electronic and engineering achievements of television pay dividends. Pay in countless hours of enjoyment and relaxation within the American home. The kind of television stations which the Austin Company builds takes into account the complicated equipment and programming required by this miracle of sight and sound. These designs typify the modern functional construction developed by Austin engineers for such projects as American Broadcasting Company's KGO transmitter near San Francisco and ABC's new studios in Detroit, Hollywood, and atop the Civic Opera Building in Chicago. The newly constructed NBC station KOMO in Seattle, Washington, and Cleveland's modern WEWS television studios. The Austin Company designs and builds plants and offices for all industry, such as this plant for Church and Dwight Incorporated in Syracuse, New York, manufacturers of the famous Arm and Hammer brand baking soda. The Austin built bomber plant at Fort Worth, Texas, with production aisles 4,000 feet long, is the world's largest controlled conditions plant. Austin's control conditions designs include high levels of lighting, acoustical insulation, and year-round temperature control to meet the requirements of modern industrial plants for worker efficiency and increased production. With its engineers serving industry in cities from coast to coast, the Austin Company builds small buildings and large for all the great industries that make America great.